this is the d defensive plan. I mean, obviously they were short passes again like that. How, how difficult was that one where they kept kind of hitting you with those nickel and dime throws? Right, that's tough, man, because you, you, you want to you wanna take those away so bad, but you know eventually a double move or something else is going to come. You know, but you just got to play it. You just got to play through it. Uh, Teams don't really want to live by those short games too many times. You know, Officer Courtney is kind of one of the big bombs. So they, they, they had a really good plan coming in. Then the quarterback had a really good completion rating, I think. But, you know, we, we found a way to end the game and win the game. So that's all that really matters right now. So what was said during halftime? Obviously, you came out of a very different team in the second half, mentality-wise and physically. What was said during halftime? Oh man, it, 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 we knew it was gonna be a dog fight coming in. You know, we knew we knew it was gonna be a tough one. We knew those guys weren't gonna come in here and lay down just because we have Auburn on our chest. You know, so we knew we had to fight, and we just all challenged each other at halftime to come out and play a time that different than what we did the first half. Which was to me, and I, most of the guys inside was kind of unacceptable. You know, we could have played a lot better that first half, but you know, it, it's like that sometimes. Not always play. You know, so coming out that second half was big for us. The offense got to pick it up. They started getting in the road, and it just that motivated. The defense, you know, so it was, it was a good team win. Obviously, you know, you want to talk about your teammates and stuff like that. I mean, you closed out essentially, you had plays close out two weeks in a row. It's got to make you feel good, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels good, especially with what I've been through. You know, I've been through a lot, man. man. And to help my team win the game and still deal, it, 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 it's no better feeling, especially when you have all your teammates running on top of you. They were slapping my head a little bit too hard. I'm going to go beat them up about that. But other than that, man, it's a great feeling, you know, when you know you kind of still deal. Because that was that's a crucial moment in the game. You know, they, that could have been a side fact. They could have won the score. They possibly went for two and maybe they lost the game. You know, so just to end the game for my teammates and get this win is big. Josh, you just had a huge adversity you got through. You got through Ole Miss University this week, too. What does that say about this team? Now you had together back to back weeks where you fought through some things in the game. Man, it, it, it's the will, man. It's the will of the team. Man. It's the, the, the teammates and, and the coaching staff. We, we preach this type of stuff. They preach this to us each and every week that adversity is going to happen. You know, you got to you gotta know how to overcome it. We went through a lot of it this week. Once again, like you said, from Ole Miss. And those situations, you gotta know, we, we prepare for those situations at the end of the game. Uh, two minute situation, two minute drives, we prepare for those. So when, when they come, you know, there's no pressure, you know what I mean? So as a team, we kinda know how to fight. We gotta know how to win. We It's a bunch of guys on this team who, who have a lot of fight in them. And when you got a lot of guys like that, the, 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 limit, the sky's the limit for us, you know? So we just gotta keep fighting, keep playing as hard as we can. Big picture, you know, a and M lost to Mississippi State. You know your destiny's in your own hands. You guys are banged up quite a bit with a lot of injuries. Just how big is next week? Obviously Georgia, a place where Auburn hasn't won in about a decade. Yeah, it, it's big, man. Just like like this game was really big. Next week is gonna be another really big game for us because those guys they're, they're trying to end our career. You know what I mean? They're they're trying to knock us out from doing what we want to do. You know, so going to the game, we gotta we gotta make it play as that's the biggest game of the year right now, you know, so that's a good thing. I know they're a good team. We probably haven't watched the film on it right now. Still kind of celebrating this last one we just got. So, but, yeah, I know it's going to be a good a good game. We're going to a tough environment. You know, road, a road game is always going to be tough. You know, that's a, that's a good team. So, we'll have to bring it bring it again, trying to get everybody healthy for, for a long run. Considering where you were at one and two, how does it feel to control your own destiny now? Oh, it feels great, man. It feels great. We, we kind of knew that what we had, we wasn't a one and two team. We was, we was one and two at the time, but we wasn't a one and two team. You know, we, we, we knew we had a lot more in us, you know, and that kind of that kind of defined us as a team when we was down. You know, a lot of people kind of counted us out, and we kind of liked that, you know. We, we played better with that, you know. So now we, we're just on the road, you know. We, we, we're, we're building off each week. Each week is giving us more confidence to go in the next week, but even more confidence. So we just got to keep building and keep playing as hard as we're playing, just as if we were a one and two team. What's the magic? Because you probably could have easily given up after two knee injuries. Could you imagine not being back to experience this? Oh, man, no, not for real. That's why the main reason I came back, because I, I, I kind of did kind of give up with just a little bit. You know, I kind of I backed away from it from, from, from a minute. But then it's like, I'm going to do it. You know, I, my friends all that practice. I'm in the room. You know, so I kind of just want to be around my friends and hang around my teammates one last time. You know, that's why I came back to experience this. And I just so happy I'm having a really great year right now and I just got to keep it up. Does it make you appreciate moments like that? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I, I appreciate little moments like being in practice. You know, like when you when you have two knee injuries, you can't really do anything, you know. It's, it, you never know what's next, you know what I mean? So I take every game, every practice, I take all that to heart, you know, because you never know when your last play will be. You know, I, I went down on the ground contact entry, you know what I mean? So now when I go to practice, I go hard every play. You know? When I come out to the game, I play my hardest because you never know when that last play will be, you know. So if I, if I, if I do something, 
I have to get injured again, I want to make sure I want not playing as hard as I possibly could. On that note, on that note Josh, what's going on with your phone? Kind of, how long is that going on? Oh, man, it, I just heard it last, I heard it last week uh, in the old Miss game, but, that, yeah, I'm, I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm good. Okay, Paris, here today, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coach, talk about how beat up this team is. How, how do you respond to that and go play on the road knowing how beat up they are? This, week, this, this whole next week is going to be big for us, you know, uh, mentally and uh, physically. we got to get a lot of guys healthy. we got a lot of guys beat up, like you said. we got a lot of guys with little nicks and bruises. So this week is going to be, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of more mental reps, you know, than physical reps, you know. The coach does a great job of, of helping us get back ready. You know, guys who are injured, he, he watches our reps. We watch what we do, but the main thing they tell us is when we're watching the reps, you got to make sure you're getting those mental reps. You know, so those are just important as actual practice. Reps. So you got to be able to physically see what's going on, get in the film room. You got to spend a lot of more time doing those things. You um, just a good call at the right time. Uh, I seen my guy come to go to the flats. And I know a two-minute situation, I didn't think he really wanted that two-yard rap, so I didn't drive on it. I seen my little boy open up, and I seen him pack the ball, and I just drove back to the open. Just kind of picking your spots to take a chance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to take my chance. Like, I kind of, I had to make up for the, the, the pass I gave up the, first, uh, the, play, the play before that, the play, like one or two plays before that. I had to make up for that, because that was my fault. I supposed to be an inside level, so I had to make up for, for that to have my team. You plan to make a uh, interception that's quite every game for you on that? Uh, if I can, I should. I will. I surely will if I can. Uh, it, it, it's just good, man. It's the hard work, like I say, every week, man. The hard work is truly paying off, you know. I work my tail off each and every week. I try to get my guys to be ready to go every week just as intense as I am, you know, because like I said before, I, I, I don't know when my last play will be, you know. If this is my last chance playing, you know, I'm going to make sure I go out playing as hard as I'm playing right now. So it's just, it's just a blessing. Is that kind of the same thing you did last week? Same that interception. Did you get your different tactic there? Uh, I was at corner last week, and I just I just so happened to see it. I seen that same route early in the game, and I drove on it that time. But I was at nipple this time, and my instincts kind of just drifted me to that. So. What's that facial expression thing you all do after the game, celebrating with your guys? Oh uh, man, we just silenced them the critics. The critics. That's all it is. We just it's just a, a wild moment, you know. And people don't really count us to, to come in and win every each and every week like we're doing. So we just kind of having fun, though. That's the main thing. It's the big thing they preach. You don't have fun, man. When you got a group of guys like what we have, you don't have no choice but to have fun. It's no really dull moments. You know, we got a bunch of characters, very bunch of different characters on this team. So when you got a group of guys with, with great personalities, when you win a win, you, you got to have fun. You know, because you got you to appreciate the wins and, and appreciate the losses as well. But when you get those wins, it's always big, you know, to have fun with. Josh, two weeks in a row now again, this the game ceiling pick. How's that feel? Uh, it feels great. It's a really good feeling. You know, sometimes you, you dream of doing moments like this as a kid, you know, and I, I just have to do it back to back weeks, you know, so it, it, it's great, man. I, I, the feeling right now is still, still unreal. I still don't really know that I caught the ball, that I ended the game, but, you know, it hit me as soon as I walked out the locker room, though, so it's just great. Who would it be for you to go over and win next week? Uh, it, it, it's big for me to win every week, you know, for that's for my teammates, you know. Each game is just another game that we gotta win. We gotta take it we gotta take each game the same, you know. You don't, you don't put no game above with another. So to go over there and win is, is gonna be just as great, you know, as this one was tonight. But you probably don't wanna hear about losing to Georgia again, mm -hmm. would you? Uh, no, nah, you don't really wanna go back home and hear that. You know, it, it is what it is. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna play all the football, we're gonna go in there and do what we do best. You know, we're gonna fight to the end and Hopefully the outcome is another W. You were saying earlier in the week that you wanted to try to do something special for your dad today with the Military Appreciation Day. Does it mean a little more that you got that interception? Uh, yeah, it probably does. I know he's out there. I know that they're waiting for me. So I know he's probably out there proud, very proud. You know, uh, I told my parents like, a long time ago, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to make them proud. You know, they did a lot for me. So me playing as hard as I possibly can is just to show them, you know, that your hard work pays off. You know, to get to college and to be playing really good football right now. You know, for, for my dad. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah, I talk to them like, every week. I talk, in, like, oh, right now? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, they usually wait for me outside. So I'm, uh, they probably know I got to do an interview, so they're probably out there waiting for me. But they'll, be, they'll be okay. <laughs> How sweet was it to close that thing out, man? Oh, man, that was great, man. That, yeah, another get a game when the pick. Is, uh, like I said, you, you dream of those moments as a kid. You know, they, they shoot the game on the shot or get a game when the touchdown. But, you know, as a DB, you dream of getting a game when the pick or something like that. You know, so do it two weeks in a row is kind of unreal, you know?
How about the way you guys have come through the last two weeks too? All the adversity you guys have dealt with. Oh man, it just, it just speaks on the character of our team. You know, we got we got a really strong team. We got a team who really willing to fight each and every week. Uh, the, the coaches have great they have great trust in us. Great game plans put together each and every week. Uh, great adjustments at halftime, and I feel like that's what we do best. You know, when, when things are going wrong, we come at halftime and we make great adjustments, and we put like a totally different team in the second half if the first half wasn't right. You know, so it just shows the character of our team we have right now. Y'all been beat up. Next man up, I guess, is the way it goes. And today there was the next man up. Yeah, yeah, you, that, that, that's what you train for as a, as, a, as a backup or as a, a, a two on the depth chart. You got to train as if you're going to play the game. You know, you got to go in the game training. Uh, you got to go into practice training like you're going to play in the game. You know, that's what we do at practice. We train, everybody trains just the same. You know, nobody gets less or less than anybody. Everybody trains like they're playing the game, and everybody has to be ready to step up at any given moment. And you looked up at the end of the game, you know, you guys finish, you look up, and you see Mississippi State put it away. You guys now control your own destiny. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Now we, now we know we're, we, we are, we're in control of what we do. And, uh, we got to go out. We got we to take control of these next few games. We, gotta, we, can't, we can't go in with a different mindset now. You know, we got to go in with the same mindset to go in and fight like we've been doing all year. We'll see what it takes in the long run. Hey, Josh, we'll talk about the grit that this team's had this year. Starting slow, but, uh, you know, it's, it's this team's fell on its own. You know, just talk about the true grit that you come out there and now this big W, and, you know, now you're going to go on the road to Georgia. Uh, it, it's big, man. The, the, the start out, how we started out, and this see, be where we're at right now is, 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 is huge. You know, we, we knew at the time we wasn't a one or two team. You know, we wasn't a one or two team. We wasn't playing like a one or two team. You know, things just didn't bounce our way. But we knew we just got to keep fighting, keep working, you know. We couldn't, we couldn't worry about those things, you know, those in the past. You know? So we took each week, each practice, each game, one practice, one game at a time, and we're here where we're at now. So it's just the hard work that we've been putting in, and we've been grinding, and we've been telling each other, you know, that we can get better, you know. Teams, we're, we're a great team, you know, and people are trying to see that now. So we just got to keep working and keep fighting like we're doing. What happened to your arm there? Uh, it's just my thumb. It just hurts a little bit. It's just precautionary. Did, just that happen, did that happen before your interception? Uh, no, this happened last week. Oh, okay. We're doing the Ole Miss game, but that's yeah, not so, going to kind of keep so, me out. So you're wearing a wrap on it you talked to Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, just precautionary. Just to make sure nothing happens to you know. So I'm not going to miss a game for it, though. Couple more. Josh, you worried, about, you worried about teams kind of copycatting what Ole Miss, what Vanderbilt is? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, this, this is probably going to be everybody's game plan now, you know, because, like I said, we do have the best D-line in America. And you kind of don't want those guys to get started because once they get started, you're not going to stop them, you know. So I think, I think we're going to kind of get that. We're prepared for it. You know, we're prepared for it. So it, it, it's a great game plan, you know, but we make great adjustments, you know. So offensive coordinators do a great job, but Coach Steele does an awesome job coming in and adjusting to whatever he feels we need to adjust to, it, and that's what we did again today. Josh, you spoke before about how important Deshaun is to this defense and how high of football he has. What, what did it feel like losing him so early in the game and how did the defense cope with it? That's tough. That's tough. Uh, I mean, they, they call the call, you know what I mean? That it is what it is. But when you got a guy like Deshaun that goes out, that makes you fight harder. You know what I mean? That makes you fight a little harder because I know that guy burning. He was in this locker room burning to be outside, you know, playing with us, you know. So to get that win and for him to be in the locker room waiting for us coming in is big, you know, because he, he, he's that energy. He's our energy guy, you know. When the sun's on the field, he's talking crap, he, he's making plays, he's hitting people, you know what I'm saying? And that, that motivates our defense to get better, you know what I mean? So when he goes down, it's just next man up. And, and TJ Neal did an awesome, awesome job, you know what I mean? I, I take my hats off to that guy. He did a great job coming in, stepping in for the sun. And I'm, I'm sure he's going to get a lot more playing time. All right. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome.